Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Antique Penguin. Just when I logged in after a few days I recorded the first three episodes, I got a mail containing a blue mail bag which honestly looks really cool. Anyways, the reason why we are at the pool is because there was a pin hidden which was the spider pin. Of course this video is now outdated and the pin located here is no longer available but I'm keeping this part of the video anyways because this is the first pin I found at this game. Sadly, I don't think the Antique Penguin wiki updated where the newest pin is so I'm not sure where the newest pin is. If you guys know where the newest pin is, feel free to tell me in the comments below and we'll hopefully find it in the next episode. So anyways, we are now at our igloo and we are reading the Better Igloos catalog which of course is now outdated just like the pin but I'm keeping this part of the video anyways cause it looks pretty cool. If you noticed anything about the igloos back then, there wasn't any background back then. To be honest, it feels really weird not having a background as I am used to having igloo backgrounds like in Club Penguin rewritten and new Club Penguin. I honestly just prefer having igloo backgrounds as they make the igloos more beautiful but hey, it's just my opinion. Anyways back at November 15th, I actually found one person online while I was test recording this game. Unfortunately the person was AFK but I checked out his or her stamps and he or she had like 19 stamps and has a few fluffy the fish and pizza oven stamps, too many games I'm excited to play in the future. So anyways I love how this igloo upgrades catalog has more igloo choices than the ones at Club Penguin rewritten and new Club Penguin. It makes me wish CPR and NCP had more igloo choices as well. This is the best igloo upgrades catalog or better yet the best catalog I have ever seen in the history of Club Penguin. And of course we still have to be at least 30 days old to be a PSA agent which I can wait though it would have still been pretty cool if they removed the limit like in Club Penguin rewritten. So anyways we will be playing all the mini games starting from the west side of the island and then ending at the east side of the island meaning I will be playing Jetpack Adventure first. My goal for this series is to collect as many stamps as possible. Also why isn't my penguin yellow at the title screen? Anyways, I won't be collecting every stamps of Jetpack Adventure in this episode as that would be a major pain in the butt. So anyways the stamps we will be getting in this episode are the lift off stamp which I got a few seconds ago, all the fuel rank stamps which we'll also be getting the fuel command stamp for getting all of them in one game, all the one up stamps and of course the jetpack 5 stamp for completing all of the levels in the game. To save all the fuel we need, I won't be collecting much coins. The stamps that I am at least very happy that aren't at this game are the ones where we have to use our green puffle. Man those stamps are very stressful and a major pain in the butt. I have to wait and be very lucky for my green puffle to get the coins I needed. Man it was so damn annoying. The ace pilot stamp is also a very annoying stamp to get. You have to complete the game without any coins. I successfully completed the first three levels without any coins but by the fourth one, it just makes me want to rage quit. Anyways fun fact about jetpack adventure in the original club penguin. In July 26, 2010 which is the same day stamps were released, they decided to make the first level the only level non-members can play and make the rest of the levels only for members. I honestly really disliked this decision especially since the whole game was supposed to be free in the first place and I never had membership as my parents wouldn't allow me to have one. This also happened to Astro Barrier at the same day where they decided to make the first 5 levels the only levels non-members can play and the rest of the levels only members can play. These are honestly one of the reasons why I am very happy Club Penguin private servers exist. You have a lot of freedom and you don't have to pay real life money to be a member in private servers. And speaking of private servers, I heard a lot of stuff about older private servers I have never played such as cpps.me and penguin oasis where you can swear, change penguin sizes, walk through walls, teleport to any rooms, have every clothing, change username color, and even have very inappropriate usernames. You can do anything in those private servers by just typing like a code in the chat bar. I'm honestly not a very huge fan of those private servers as I prefer private servers that are just closer to the original CP like Club Penguin rewritten. Probably one of the reasons why I won't try out Penlife which is another CPPS that is similar to CPPS.me and Penguin Oasis. Also, it's very weird not seeing the stage when playing this minigame. 
By the time this video is uploaded, I think the stage is now already open which I haven't checked out yet. I'll be checking out the stage in the next episode. Hopefully they have updated Jetpack Adventure as well to add the stage. Now back about the topic of Peng Life, I have to admit the chord room they added to their game looks very cool. I absolutely love it when Club Penguin private servers add custom rooms. In Club Penguin Rewritten, they added the Welcome Room, the Hidden Dojo Room, the Dojo Pathway, and the Serene Springs. In Club Penguin Online and New Club Penguin, they added the Pond and the Underwater Kingdom. All of them look very amazing. And speaking of custom rooms, there is this one private server called Old CP which uses the AS1 engine just like this game and all of their custom rooms such as their castles look honestly amazing. Though like CPPS.me, Penguin Oasis, and Pen Life, I just find the rest of the game to be very weird. And speaking of weird, let's just talk about how weird cookies are. I won't say I hate them though cause I don't want to offend anyone who are. If you guys don't know what cookies are, they are a group of penguins who act like babies and are usually seen in the pet shop. They wear the color yellow as their main color. They wear either a tiara or an aethony as their head item. They usually wear a boa as their neck item. They usually wear a ballerina costume as their body item. They usually wear a teddy bear as their hand item and they usually wear bunny slippers as their feet item. They say really cringy words such as Wo or Hyun Wo which is hello in a babyish language and they usually wait for a Mumu to adopt them. Now Mumus are female penguins who pretend to be the mother of the Pookie. Anyways, if you guys want to learn more about Pookies, you can search about them in Google and there will be a wiki about them. It's very strange and interesting at the same time. Anyways, let's talk about the time when I got a girlfriend in Club Penguin rewritten without even trying. So last month back at October, I was just sitting at the town at the server blizzard and a random female penguin just walked to me and gave me a heart. I decided to give her a heart back and then she sent me a buddy request. I obviously accepted it and she told me to visit my igloo. So we both went to my igloo and then she told me to take off our clothes. If this was in another CPPS like CPPS.me or even in a club penguin online mature server like Walrus. I feel like it would have been more inappropriate. So we both take off our clothes and kiss each other in the lips with the heart emoji. Anyways, she told me what's next and I told her let's hang out at the pizza parlor. But apparently, she disappeared and it turns out she was cheating on me as I went back to town and she was trying to find another boyfriend by giving a heart emoji to other penguins. So yeah, that's the story of how I got a girlfriend in Club Penguin rewritten without even trying. I honestly find it very funny a lot of YouTubers fail a lot to find love in Club Penguin while I got one without even trying. So anyways, have you guys ever gotten a boyfriend or girlfriend in Club Penguin? If so then feel free to share your story on how you met one in the comments below as I would love to hear it. Anyways my biggest regret this month was missing out the pizza gang raid back in early November. There were a lot of yellow penguins wearing the chef hat and pizza apron and they have been throwing pizzas for a lot of hours. They say stuff like in crust we trust and they appear at the server blizzard in club penguin rewritten. I honestly wished I joined them when it all began but I luckily joined them a few days later. Although they were little than before, I still had fun by making some friends, making a triangular formation, compete getting more members from other gangs such as the fluffy gang and probably the tuba gang, and even trolled a couple at the cove. Obviously I had very fun with the pizza gang and I hope they come back one day as I miss them so much. And don't worry, they are not a club penguin army like the rebel penguin federation so I am not betraying the rebel penguin federation for them. So anyways if you guys want to know the status on my upcoming club penguin rewritten comedy video which is the bathroom crisis. It is put on hold until early 2022 due to the Halloween party last month and the upcoming Festival of Lights party coming this month. It may be even further due to me focusing on my antique penguin walkthroughs. But don't worry, I'll try finishing it one day when I'm in the mood. Also I haven't been playing new club penguin as much as I used to. The game hasn't been very interesting lately. In fact I haven't played it regularly since like the Halloween party. The only time I logged on this month was a few days ago and that was just to get a new pin. 
I'm not sure if I should quit that game or not to focus more on Club Penguin rewritten, CP3D, and of course this game. I joined new Club Penguin back in early September 2021, a few weeks before the fashion festival happened. Honestly the fashion festival was the best party as I had fun changing my clothes and even met Dot. The Halloween party was just alright but I at least met Rookie when he first appeared. If new Club Penguin releases something interesting or if they get more new players, I might consider playing it regularly again. But for now I'm just bored of that game. Anyways my biggest regret of NCP is when after I got my first friend in that game which was a female, I checked out her igloo but didn't give her a like. She removed me from her buddy list a day later probably because I didn't like her igloo or I changed my clothes to a simple pizza chef. I wished I gave her a like to her igloo back then or kept my original clothes but hey, I learned my lesson. Anyways we'll be checking out the stage in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Antique Penguin videos. With that being said, see you next time.